Hi, I'm Rob, and in this Gems of War video, I'm going to show a couple of teams using the awesome troop Megavore. It is in the Soul Forge at the time of making this video, so if you've got the diamonds, I totally, totally recommend getting Megavore. Absolutely fantastic troop. All right, let's dive into the teams. Now, the thing is with Megavore, there's only really a couple of teams you need, and they're both very similar. We've got the Shield of Urskaya, Thrall, Megavore, and Rowan in this team. And the alternative team is to swap out Thrall for Leprechaun. If you're a higher level player, then Thrall is going to be good for you because the more magic you have, the more gems you're going to destroy. If you're a newer player to the game or your magic is not very high, you're better off going with Leprechaun because your Thrall will not destroy many gems where Leprechaun explodes gems and even a handful of green on the board is going to generate more mana than a low magic Thrall. But I'll show this team first. Uh, and the reason why you don't really need any other teams than this one is because Shield of Sky is easy to get. You get that with 250 wins in Sentinel class. That is obtainable. And Thrall, Rowan and Leprechaun are easy to get the troops. And that is literally all you need. There's no need to go any further with the Leprechaun uh, or Thrall with the Megavore in this team. Works absolutely superb. Shield of Sky gives an ally magic based armor boosted by all enemy attack then enrages and barriers them. So the higher the enemy level attack, the more it's going to help us. And we're going to get a bigger boost to Rowan, because that is what we're going to cast it on. We're going to cast it onto her, boost her damage, then she's going to go absolutely nuts. Now, one thing that's really cool about the Shield of Urskaya, which a lot of people actually miss, is it's got Radiant, which gives one mana to all allies, which is really cool. And it barriers itself so you really shouldn't cast this on yourself anyway but if you cast it on someone else you effectively get two barriers because you get a barrier automatically when you cast that and if you cast it on someone else you give them a barrier as part of the spell and also if you're one short of mana on any of the troops like megavores on 23 out of 24 or rowan is 11 out of 12 you can cast it on rowan and then get them ready to cast because of that one mana to all troops which is super duper handy so we're going to start the game cast thrall uh, charge up our team you want them all charged pretty much at the same time though it's not essential it is important to get the shield cast onto rowan give her some protection make sure she doesn't get hit and get damaged hence losing her power or the amount of damage she does going to go with a plus two brown plus one blue minus one yellow for this and the reason is we're in our archmages class this is a great class for this. It's not essential. You can really go in any class you want. But for ease and speed, this is fantastic because you gain two bonus mana when matching purple gems here. And as well as that, you also get a 50% start, which is really nice. And you also get Arcane Surge. Gain a bonus purple from gem matches. That's important because what that means is Thrall only needing six mana. It means any collection of purple, even if it's not a mana surge, we're going to have six absolutely straight away and be ready to cast. All right, let's dive into a few Explore 12s then. I'll show this team a couple of times and I'll switch around and show how you'd go about it with Leprechaun. Love Mega Ball. Such a good troop. So we're looking for purple, forced and f forced, first and foremost, so you get purple. Even without a Mana Surge, we're going to get Thrall up absolutely straight away. Chuck on any motion medals that you've got, things like that. When you've got them all charged up, first of all, I'd always cast Shield first. Get Rowan protected. She's going to get a barrier. Then we can cast our Mega Ball. Strip away that armor. Rowan's got a massive boost now. She's gone up to plus 608 damage. So we cast this. And boom shakalaka, everybody's dead. Obviously, the effectiveness of this team is reliant on your the, uh, the magic level of your team and your level in the game. If you don't have any Nosha medals to boost up how many uh, gems your Thrall destroys and how much damage your other troops do, then put some Medals of Guard onto Rowan because that increases her armor, which is going to increase her damage. So I'll show this one more time and then switch troops around to the um, Leprechaun-based team. So again, get a purple when it's there. Always going to get ready to go no matter what. Cast that. We still need to collect this, so we'll get our shield. Imperative, you cast the shield. That's what gives us the boost. Then we cast Megavore. Anyone you want. 
takes away all the armor, does a bunch of damage, cast Rowan, everybody's dead. Now the second team I'm going to show for this, all I've done is swap out Thrall for Leprechaun. Leprechaun is a really good troop if you're a newer player to the game because he starts battles with full mana and it doesn't take a lot of magic for you to explode a significant amount of green gems and generate a load of mana for your team, which is the advantage he has over Thrall. Now what we're going to do is the same as before, just charge the team up, cast shield onto Rowan, cast Megavore, cast Rowan and win. It will depend upon your magic level in the game, obviously how effective that is. If you have to cast Rowan twice or not, it will depend on that. But we're going to go for the Banner of Elements, plus two brown, plus one blue, minus one yellow. And class isn't essential, but it's just nice in Corsair, because you have a couple of cool advantages. Gain two bonus blue when matching blue gems. And we also have Water Mastery. Gain another blue. So lots of blue, lots of brown for this. This is a good team. Let's dive in. Depends upon your luck at the beginning, how fast it'll be. Sometimes it'll be blindingly fast. Sometimes it'll just take its time because we just didn't get the luck on the drops. As soon as the shield is up, it's worth casting straight away. You can see if you get lucky with Megavore by doing this sort of thing. See if you get a four match kill, but you want to cast shield onto Rowan. She gets a shield already, which is useful for helping her not, not get killed accidentally which you don't want, or take damage, because that's going to reduce her damage. We've cast that. Shield is on her. We've got a boost of 600 in this instance. That is going to be plenty, because we already got that lucky Megavore kill. That's not going to happen all the time, by the way. That was just a fluky bit of luck. But we'll take it. I would grab four matches when you can. You never know when that Megavore trait might come in. Don't have to cast Leprechaun straight away if the gems that are there are nice for you in the first place. So again, shield onto Rowan. Gives her a mega boost. Cast Mega Ball. I prefer to cast shield first rather than Mega Ball because it gets a barrier onto Rowan. Makes her safe should the enemy get to cast anything. And we win. And the cool thing is, remember as well, if any of your troops are just one short of getting their mana, mana ready to cast, as soon as you cast shield, it gives one mana to all your team, which is really good when it happens, because basically you don't have to waste turns collecting it. We'll do it that way, that's an extra turn, cast shield onto Rowan, she gets boosted, Megavore does, here's a Megavore stuff, Rowan nearly mops up. Someone must have some spell damage going on. You cheeky moth. How dare you. Be gone. But there it is. There's those teams. Very straightforward and easy to use. Um, like I say, it's pretty much the only Megavore team you need, either with Leprechaun or Thrall, because very easy troops to acquire that you use with it and work best and just wipes up really easily in explore level 12 this is one of my go-to teams for explore level 12 i really like it it's really quick and easy and you can also use it for the um gnome vault as well might as well show that quickly i usually use the um thrall equivalent of this but i'll just stick it in stick with this one for the video rather than have to change the team around again there's a little bit of green around so that is going to be a handy cast. Everybody's up. Cast shield onto Rowan. Cast Megavore. Cast Rowan. And look at what rubbish rewards, rewards you got because they seem to be getting worse all the time. No, they're sometimes good. Six gems and a load of gold. And a load of gold to the Shrine of Cunning, which is the Shrine of Stealing because. Oh, and some souls to the Shrine of Treachery. The only treacherous thing is you have to pay money to actually open it, and it's not really worth it. Oh, at least I've got my next part of the Kingdom Pass done. And some Ritz. Be sure to come back and do these Kingdom Pass things every day. Make sure you pick up your 10 maximum Kingdom Crowns. Don't have to do it every single day. You can miss a few days off, but hey-ho. Still got 18 days to go. 
some okay rewards in this on the free path definitely worth doing but anyway i've digressed away from what i was doing but there's a video if you enjoyed it found it useful or helpful be cool if you hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already but most of all thanks for watching and i'll catch you again next time bye for now